So this is a brief example of how you can use the nested option of HR tool for your differential expression analysis for RNA-seq data. So as you might remember from the previous tutorials, in this tool we can set up to three main effects and we can choose to use either all or none of the interaction terms between these effects. But there's also the nested option and this tutorial is really about this one. The nested option is really useful when you don't want to include all of the interaction terms but you want to include some. So let's see what kind of situation that could be. So now we have a data where we have 14 samples and we have the read counts ready for those samples and we just combined them using the define NTS experiment tool. And if you look at the Pheno data file here, you can see that we have two groups there and they are explained here. So we have some number of patients which are healthy and used as a control in this study and some that have some disease, let's say for example cancer. From the patient column you can see that we have seven patients and we have two samples from each patient. Those samples are control and treated. So for each patient we have done the control treatment and the treatment with some drug. Now we want to compare the cancer patients to the healthy patients and as well see the effect of the treatment both for the healthy ones and the ones who have cancer. So the situation is that we want to do a comparison both between the patients for the disease and within the patients for the treatment. Now if we would choose in our tool that we want to use all the interactions, the tool would be complaining that it cannot estimate all the interactions because it cannot estimate the personal difference between a cancer patient and a healthy patient because the patients are always either healthy or they have cancer. So there's no way of estimating that kind of interaction. So that's why we developed the nested option. Please be careful when setting the effects. If you click the more help button, you will see the manual page. And as you can see, there's the same example described. And here you can see how you should choose the effects. So effect tree should always be the one explaining the pairing of the samples. So that would be the patient in our case. Effect two is the comparison that is done between the subject, so between the patients. So that would be treatment in our example. Whereas main effect one is the comparison between the patients. So that would be the disease in our case. So we would set here disease, which was same as the group. And the second one would be the treatment. And the third one would be the patient. And here we have the nested option. And then we could run the tool. As a result, we will get the dispersion plot and the TSV file, which contains all the results. As you remember, it's this long file that has huge number of columns and as the rows you have the genes and again these five columns are repeated for each and every one of the comparisons. You can again filter the table. For example in this case if you want to compare cancer patients to the healthy ones you choose this column and here we filtered it according to the p-value resulting roughly 200 differentially expressed genes. If you want to see the effect of the treatment within the healthy patients, we choose this one. So one here means healthy, as you might remember from the Pheno data file, we marked the healthy ones with one. And the third comparison is then the effect of the treatment within the cancer patients. So cancer patients were marked with two in our Pheno data file. You can filter these further, for example, according to the log fold chains 